Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to customize your custom brushes so that way you don't have to go back and forth between selecting the brushes that I have customized here and my customized eraser here. One of the biggest problems that we have in animation is always going back and forth between our tools while thinking about the animation that we need to draw in time. So we're going to help speed this up because for example let's say you know I'm, I want to draw and I have my rough character here but then I want to go ahead and add some detail into the mouth well then I would like to go ahead and just switch very quickly into that detail but now because I don't have my keyboard shortcut I will have to actually go here select my H2 pencil and then go ahead and add that detail it's a little bit of a break in concentration because you want to be able to move fluidly without having to go back and forth so I like to use keyboard shortcuts and I am going to go ahead and set those up so that way you can see how I would work when using Harmony for paperless animation now there's one thing I want to tell you is that for my animation pencil now that it's black, it's really not the tool that I would like to use for standard 2D animation. I'd actually like to use my uh, coal erase pencil. So that's blue, and I have to set that up as well. So I have one, two, three, four. And I'm actually going to go ahead and set up a brush, a soft brush. So that will be five and six I need to set up my eraser as well so I have five custom brushes to set up just so that way I can do um, animation work with the right tools you can actually go ahead and create your character foundation and then go ahead and make um, something like corrections or animation notes with a blue and then go ahead and actually clean it up a little bit better with a uh, sharper pencil line so let's go ahead and set this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my sketches for fun. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I have my custom pencil tools up and easy to access. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a brush. And now the first brush I'm going to add will be my HB. So I'll make sure I have that ready. I give it a name. So here in this menu there's different colors or I can add my own icon if I want to. So right now you have different colors you can use or you can add your own icon. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and use this one for default which is my standard brush here. And then I'm going to give it a shortcut number one. So here I have one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to give it a shortcut number one. And then here it's going to use the color and the item. And then I'll save it. So now my first brush is pencil HB. Now I want to do my second brush, which will be the 2H. So I select it. Go up here and then give it a name. I want to give it a color and then I give it a shortcut number two. And I save the settings. There you go. So now one, two. The third one I have to be careful because I want blue and black. So I'm going to make a note of that. First let's make the blue. I'm going to select it then I'm going to go ahead and change the color to blue. And I want to give it a color like coal erase blue. There. So I will make a new brush.
call it blue. I'll use the blue tip and I'll call this number three. And I save that. Now, for corrections, I want to use red. So I select red, and now I have my revision pencil. So I'm going to make a new brush. I will call it corrections, make it red, and I will call that four. So I have my animation pencil blue and my animation pencil red. Now the last thing I need is my eraser. So I'm going to go back to my eraser tool, select it, make sure I test it. And as you can see, it's not the right one. It's not correct. So let's go back and fix that. Now I have my soft eraser. Make sure it's the way I want it. I'm going to make it a little bit harder. Save that. There you go. Now it looks like an eraser that I expect for paper. Okay. Make a new brush. And I'm going to call that eraser soft and save that as number five. And as you can see, it has an eraser icon, so that's great. So I save that. Now I have my brush tools saved. One, two, three, four, five. And we can test it now. I won't need this anymore. And uh, watch. One. I want to make this a little bit harder. There we go. Remember, I want to be rough. Good. Three. Four. My corrections. five my eraser now you can see just by pressing one two three four five I can go ahead and do my rough draft sketching five for my erasing So it's very easy now. I don't have to think about going back and forth with my toolbar anymore. I can go ahead and start sketching because I have set up my shortcuts. Once you get used to it, you'll feel a lot better using Toon Boom Harmony with keyboard shortcuts. You don't have to worry about going back and forth or resetting the brush because now you're more in the moment of just pressing five buttons. I will use my H 
two to get into the mouth. Go back to my soft brush. And just like that, I'm able to build a foundation that I can use for animation. And this is just an example. You can always go ahead and modify the keyboard shortcuts or the icons. As well, you can go ahead and update the brushes if you want to. You can go ahead and update your brushes as well as import and export your brush configuration here using this panel. With these tools set up, then I can go ahead and do my exercises without worrying about the keystrokes that I need. Okay, thank you everyone and see you in the next lesson.